and welcome to another episode of Joining the Rush on AllHockey.ru. My name is Steve Dangle, and this is uh, not Andre at all. <laughs> Hi! So I guess the first topic of our show is, who are you? I'm, um, I'm Jeff. They kidnap me, and I'm here. I also blog. Help me. <laughs> Terrific! Well, before Andre gets here to talk about boring Russian things, maybe we should talk about the AHL Finals, because you're covering them. Okay. So we're in the Calder Cup Finals now. Uh, it's 2-0 Norfolk. Definitely a series where people, you know, kind of expected this to happen. As much as everyone in Toronto has wanted to say that that wasn't going to happen, Norfolk's just been dominant over the course of the series. Well, Norfolk's been mysterious to me uh, for the last few months because they have one of the longest winning streaks, if not the longest winning streak in pro sports history. Maybe you can help me out with that. It's I'm not the, sure. uh, the longest in pro hockey history, and yeah. I think it's top five in longest in pro sports. So, and 28 straight games to end the season. It only ended because, like you said, they ran out of games. Yeah. Uh, they lost a couple games in the playoffs. But it's still a minor league team. So, how are they so good, yet, I guess, not quite there? There's there's quite a bit of talent on that team, but really it's just their system. They found the way to win their games, and the confidence is just through the roof. You have to imagine if you're winning 99% of the time, or pretty much literally, that you're going to expect to win the next game, and that, that momentum just keeps going on with you. I like you better than Andre. What up, Steve? Hey, no. Uh, hi. Okay. Whoa! Am I, like, seeing stuff? When'd you go to bed? Never? Yeah. So, the Stanley Cup Finals! You want to talk about it? Well, the New Jersey Devils uh, managed to get back into the series by uh, winning Game 4 uh, of uh, their best of seven with L.A. A lot of people uh, thought that L.A. would close the series out, but, you know, it, it just shows that it really is key to not uh, count your chickens before they hatch. Uh, and you, you just, you can't raise the cup before you've won it. So, uh, New Jersey now uh, heads back to, well, New Jersey for uh, Game 5 with the uh, home, with home ice advantage and the potential to win Game 6. And <laughs> get the f*** out of me! Nice jersey. Well, you drooled on my other shirt. Aren't you supposed to be like number 26, the guy was minus two last night? Who's number 26 on the Kings? Slava by North. You're not supposed to be hating on the Russian players. There's so few of you. Come on, get together, man. You want to swap? Okay. Now, Steve, I think I have a question on my mind that everybody tends to ask you in Russia. When the hell is going to be over? Uh, the Stanley Cup final? Yes. Never. I'm gonna tell what it's like back home. Like, ah, oh, Kavalchu, Kavalchu, but like, it's so friggin' boring. It's just, it's just unbearable. It's just, somebody win it, please. Just win it. Just. Still gonna, you gonna keep going? No. And now what do I see? I see your video where you go like, oh, game one, so excited, like three scoring chances. It's so amazing, so friggin' amazing. Oh my god, is it because you work for CBC now? Uh, no, it's because I legitimately thought game one was really exciting, game two was great, game three, game four was a mi- No, game game four actually did suck. Game, yeah, that was, that, was, that was terrible. You know what it is? It's whenever a team gets the chance to hoist the Stanley Cup, I, I get sad. When New Jersey scored last night, the second guy was like, No! Another game! Well, that's not why I'm sad. When's it gonna be the Leafs' turn? I don't know, you guys finally get him back on track. You're ditching Gustafsson, signing Komarov. You're good. Yeah. Not. Uh. <laughs> Remember how our body Cam Ron wrote an article about who do the Leafs need to sign? And he ended up with like a goalie, four defensemen, and 12 forwards? It's funny, because it's sure. So, Steve, what is it like to be you? <laughs> See? I talked to something. Placebo. Speaking of the Leafs, by the way, the Devils are going to have to pull off something that only the Leafs have ever done. 1942, the Toronto Maple Leafs became the only team to come back from a 3-0 deficit in the Stanley Cup Final. When all the good guys were fighting like the good war, right? It, yes. Cur shut up. Yeah, that's how long ago this was, because we recently celebrated the anniversary of D-Day, and 1942 was before that. <laughs> before we took this shot, we actually were discussing what the f*** the Belgium is. Uh, it's, I, I knew where, well, I hate you. Southwest of France, right? Southwest I didn't of say France. southwest of France! I don't know, I heard somebody say southwest. It was your cat. Uh, so the Stanley Cup final. Do you think the Devils can pull off the upset? No, me neither, no. I don't know, maybe just the finals, or me, or something, but I have a problem with officiating in the series. Just this series? N no. 
forever. So Derek Clarkson gets high stick right next to New Jersey Devils bench, right? And they don't call it. And the reason they didn't call it because it was a follow-through play, so you're not supposed to call it, and that was supposed to be a right call? What the hell? Because if you think about this, every high stick is a follow-through. No guy just goes like, ah! Okay, okay, we get it. You see what I mean, right? Yeah, but I mean, refereeing and officiating is subjective. It's like that in the NHL, it's like that in the KHL. Sometimes did, the calls don't make sense. Did you just say refereeing and officiating as two different things? No, I said referee. It's Eurasia, then, okay? Stop okay. separating it's stuff. It's, it's, it's no, it's Eurasia. Hey, I was even. Hi. There are some things in hockey that just don't make any sense, but they do. For example, game four, the penalty that David Clarkson got for boarding on Dustin Brown, I thought was ridiculous. Would it be a penalty in the regular season? Every time. Game four of the Stanley Cup final in the third period? What? Double standards. Yes, hypocrisy and officiating, no way! You know why I look so confused right now? Uh, no. Who the hell David Clarkson is? Give me a sec. Alright, just looking up the uh, devil stats from the regular season. Get that out of my face, I hate you Sean Avery. Uh, David Clarkson, one of three New Jersey Devils to... One of three New Jersey Devils to reach the 30 goal plateau this season. Ilya Kovalchuk, 37. Zach Parise, 31. David Clarkson, Third. Oh, and he led the entire team with seven game-winning goals. When did Clarkson turn from a goon to, like, a sniper, sort of? You just need to pay more attention. To the devils? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Who cares about the devils? Nice shirt. Shut up! I sold out for the video, okay? Fine, I'll change. So how do you think the video's going so far, Jeff? It's going great. Okay. Whoa, and Andre's back. I don't like that. Why? Why? I don't know, dude. The guy of uh, Calibre of Pavel Burr is coming to your league now to play here, and you're asking me why? <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. You were like too bored caring about this final, right? No, no. I was just, I was just thinking. You know, Tarasenko. He's, he's supposed to be pretty good, right? Kinda. Yeah. Do, do, yeah. do you, do you think he'll score thirty goals like uh, amazing players su such as David Clarkson? <clears throat> What I'm trying to say, Tarasenko coming to the NHL is good. Really good. Like, really good! Well, if Tarasenko coming to the NHL is so good, good, really good, uh, why doesn't Kuznetsov do it? Let's pretend I'm Kuznetsov and this is my wife. Uh, sure, show him the rank. This is why! No, it's just, it's just weird. I'm, I'm so sorry for being insensitive. I didn't realize that it was impossible to, like, travel or move. No, no I'm just mad, okay? I'm jealous! I want Kuznetsov to play in the NHL. Well, f*** you. Alright. Well, everybody, Steve said it's a great way to end the video, so it is. blame him. Okay. Well, thank you for watching Joining the Rush on AllHockey.ru. Once again, my name is Andrea Sanchiga, and this is... Steve Dangle, and this is... Jeff Viad, and this is... Meow! I don't know what just happened. <laughs> He's a plug. Last night, the, last night the play by play guy on Russian TV goes like, well, no one of uh, New Jersey forwards can score. Kovalchuk, Alish, he just goes over. And he names Clarkson, like, yeah, Clarkson can score. That's a huge problem for the Devils. Yeah. 30 goals. Yeah, he scored 30 this year. <laughs> that plug! <laughs> Dude. Where's it like Anton Volchenkov's goals? Like you bounce off the goalie. Holy oh, we're off, recording. I got to sit through this. Do you really want me to bring up your living accommodations? Here? Yeah. I don't live with you. A lot of people actually think we do live together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I went to the combine. I was like, so yeah, where's Steve? Like, well, he's not here. I was like, oh, I don't know, we, we just love your videos guys so much. I, do you guys like live together? Like, no, he lives like in Scarborough. Like, what's Scarborough? It's like, uh, well, you know, there's Moscow, right? Like, yeah, we know Moscow. <laughs> like, you know? me and Orsk. <laughs> and, uh, okay, well, so Steve, I live in Moscow, and Steve lives like not in Moscow. <laughs> like, oh. Who is this? Zharkov, Vyacheslav Osnavin, Vasilevsky, Prohorkin. <laughs> Prohorkin is that? Yeah, he was like, Dude, he came over here and he thought we lived together? Yeah. Come here, come on. <laughs>